Hello and welcome to this Lonesome Drums lesson for Pour Some Sugar On Me by Def Leppard. When the drums come in, they're playing a beat that gets used a lot throughout the entire song. So hopefully you can grab it now and it's going to make learning this song way easier. There's a fill in the fourth bar as well and I'll break that down too. The tempo of this song is super steady, so hopefully that means you can get those quick kick drums in there, no problems at all. From there, we're straight into the verse, and this is the main beat that we're going to use throughout that. Halfway through the verse, when the first set of lyrics are done, there's just a little bit of a tag and I can hear that floor tom come back in on beat 4, as well as some crash cymbals, just like this. We go back through for the second part of the lyrics in the verse, and then at the end, there's a fill that goes like this. Let's have a look at that fill one more time. I'll play through that whole verse section so you get an idea of what it's going to sound like. That fill takes us into the pre-chorus, which is up on the ride cymbal, and in the fourth bar, there's a little bit of a syncopated snare drum pattern within the beat. I'll go through it, and then I'll come back and break down that fourth bar again. So here's that fourth bar one more time. I think the trick is to look at what lines up with the ride cymbal and what lines up in the gap between the ride cymbal. That's going to help you work out the coordination and then you'll be able to speed it up and play along to the song. Next up we're into the chorus and the beat on the drums is very similar to the pre-chorus but I can hear those power tom hits on beat 4 again so I'm going to add them in and this is what it will sound like. At the end of that chorus, there's just a tiny little fill on the snare drum before we drop down into quarter notes on the kick drum.
To get those floor tom hits in the last bar, you could do what I did and open your hands so your left hand's over on the hi-hats, right hand's nice and open on the floor tom. But if it's easier, you could leave your right hand on the hi-hats and just cross underneath with your left hand and get the floor tom that way. It might be a bit easier just to leave the right hand on the hi-hats. After that, we're into a riff section and we've got some big power tom hits and this is what it sounds like. From there, we're into verse two, and this is exactly the same as verse one, except for the fill right before the pre-chorus. I find this sticking the easiest to play that last part of the fill. Using that sticking, I know I'm going to come out on my right hand and that makes it way easier to keep playing through into the next section. So next up is the pre-chorus and it's exactly the same as we already played it. The chorus is exactly the same as we already played it as well. So next up, we're moving on to the guitar solo. There's lots of busy kick drums in this guitar solo and I'll play through the whole thing, but you can just pick up the vibe if you don't want to memorize everything note for note exactly. Anyway, here's the guitar solo. One of the interesting drum sounds in that section is a reversed snare drum. What they've done is taken the recording of a snare drum and then flipped it around. So instead of starting with a loud hit and then having a tail, it starts with a tail and sucks its way in to the loud hit right on beat two. I think in that whole section, the fill in the eighth bar is probably the trickiest. So let me just go back and have a look at that quickly. After that solo, there's six more bars of bridge and I'll break down the drums two bars at a time because there are a couple of weird little fills in the second bar each time. Here's the next two bars. Once again, the sticking I'm using for those last few notes is right on the hi-hats, left, right, right, left for those two quick snare drums, and that's gonna let me come out on my right hand for the next section. Just so you can hear what it sounds like, I'll put those six bars back together at speed.
We're on the home stretch and we're back into choruses once again. There's a few different fills in this whole section, so I'll go through it four bars at a time and hopefully you can catch what's going on. Here's the next four bars. The next four bars have two different fills in them. Here's the last four bars of the song, and then I'll go through and play that whole outro section one more time. I'll take one more run of that outro section so you can see how it all fits together. And that wraps up the drum part for Pour Some Sugar On Me by Def Leppard. Because it's not a very fast song, hopefully there's lots of stuff that you can grab on the first time through, but there are some tricky fills and definitely some syncopated kick drums as well that might take a little bit of work. So happy practicing, have fun jamming that one, and I'll see you at the next lesson.